Well, we are about to dive into the sweet success story of a cherished childhood delight, the sweetie pie. Now, from the classic mellow pie to a whole range of tasty treats, chocolatier and founder Case Byers is here to spill the beans on their sweet journey that keeps South Africans hooked. Case, it's so great to have you here on the show. Thank you for yeah. joining us. Well, thanks for having me. Are we, for having are, are we good? Have you had any chocolate yet today? I haven't. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> I just got to ask. Listen, man, this has been an incredible journey. I mean, Sweetie Pie for us has been something that's so nostalgic with a lot of our memories. Mm. And it's been incredible since 2014. We call it sort of a relaunch. It's mm. been quite an incredible mm. journey. The brand's evolved. It's still yeah. here. We're still loving it. But mm. how would you testament this journey and how things have changed since then? So we... We purchased um, Sweetie Pie, the brand we purchased it in 2014. Mm. It's actually been a registered brand since 1959 oh, wow. in, in South Africa. It's been licensed since 1959, but it was taken off the market for a few years. When we purchased the brand, we relaunched uh, the product Sweetie Pie. And uh, yeah, it's been a great success since we launched it. And we're actually broadening the brand into other products. So we have this tagline. Uh, Sweetie Pie more than Mallow, oh. uh, and we're doing other products because uh, the brand is a very, very recognized and very accepted brand in South Africa. Everyone knows the brand Sweetie Pie in South Africa, so we're broadening, we're broadening that brand to the to the wider Hang public on, so out there. Officially, we can say we're going to get more Sweetie Pie options to come, right? <laughs> yes. okay, it's official. Yes. We're going to hold you to this, right? <laughs> Perfect. But Case, can we unpack your love for yeah. the sweeter things in life? I mean, yeah. you've had a very interesting start to mm. your journey. Yeah. Do you mind unpacking us where your love for for, for the sweet? I mean, I have a sweet tooth, but mm. I never actually thought of making it, or turning it into a career. Yeah. So I, uh, when I grew up, I grew up in Belgium. I'm not South African, but I came to South Africa. Uh, at the age of, I was nearly 19 when I arrived here. So um, I lived most of my adult life in, in South Africa. And when I grew up, uh, one of my youth friends, his father actually had a confectionery shop, which was about 50 meters from my, uh, my, 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 my parents' house. And I spent a lot of time there, spent a lot of time in this confectionery. And I really enjoyed, you know, helping a little bit with the confectionery, the pastry. And at the age of 12, I actually ended up, 13 rather, I ended up going to confectionery school in, in Belgium. And so I'm a qualified pastry chef. I spent five years at uh, confectionery school and then did my national service in South Africa, uh, sorry, in Belgium. Then I moved to South Africa. I worked as a pastry chef for two years, two and a half years. And then I started Bayer's Chocolates in 1987. So I've been making chocolates. Uh, this is my 37th year now sure. in, in, in business. So, uh, so yeah, so that's really where my passion comes from uh, at, at, at an early age. And I'm, I'm fortunate in the sense that I, you know, I ended up uh, in, in a career that I actually went to school for. So yeah. grateful, that's exciting. grateful and, for that. And this career has some powerful attributes. I mean, many a human can't resist anything that comes in the form of chocolate, and especially when you make it so good like the Sweetie Pie range. Yeah. I want to talk to you about an uh, exciting competition that's mm -hmm. actually going down, which I think yeah. is really awesome, and I'm already trying to get my hands on this mm -hmm. one. But it's a trip to Paris for you and your hashtag Sweetie Pie, right? Yes. Why did we choose Paris for this competition? Is so, there a reason behind so this? So obviously, you know, Paris is known as the romantic city. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. City of Love, yeah. <laughs> and obviously the name Sweetie Pie lends itself to that. It's uh, the draw is on Valentine's Day. Uh, Sweetie Pie, just to give you an idea, uh, Sweetie Pie sales around Valentine's Day uh, go six to seven fold around that time oh, wow. because it really, as I said, the name lends itself to that. So we just wanted to have a bit of a romantic story around it, and we wanted to put a competition together with a trip. You know, what better city to choose than Paris? Uh, you know, the city of love. That's why we chose. That's well why we played, chose Paris. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, hopefully, next will be you know for, for all the chocolate lovers to have a trip to Belgium. Oh, the yeah. land of chocolate! I like oh, that. Yeah. <laughs> Paris is a place I've never been to, yeah. and that sounds like such an exciting competition. Yeah. Now, coming back to Bears Chocolate, mm. I mean, it is loved all throughout South Africa. Mm. How do you guys keep innovating to make sure that you know your South African consumers keep coming mm. back and keep supporting you? So we, we travel a lot, uh, we travel a lot. We go and travel it's mainly to Europe uh, to see what, what the trends are. What, what are the trends in chocolate? What are the trends in food? And you try and sort of link, link up with that. And then obviously we try and throw in a South African flair as well. We do, we do a milk tart uh, mm. chocolate, milk tart chocolate. <laughs> nice. We do, uh, you know, we do uh, a Roy Boss uh, chocolate as well, which is really, really nice. Um, 
And so we try and we have a factory shop in front of our factory in Spartan in, in Johannesburg. And we're opening a new one in Bedford View, which has like a whole chocolate studio to it. So we're going to be teaching people how to work with chocolate, how to make desserts, etc. And we also recently um, took over a shop at the Spice Route here in Paul in um, Cape Town. We are going to be renovating the shop a little bit, uh, you know, modernize it a little bit. But it's just to try and uh, connect people with the brand. And, uh, and we are, yes, although I'm not South African, we do see ourselves as a very South African company because mm. we, we, we've been here already for 36 years in business and we employ nearly 700 people in our factory uh, that are South African. And 95% of our market is South Africa, so we sell our product in South Africa. And why I mention those factory shops is it's, it's a bit of a testing ground for us. So when we, when we launch a new product, when we develop a new product, we tend to put it in those factory shops first. If it really does well there, um, if it really does well there, then we launch it into the open market. If it if it dies a death there, then we, then we, <laughs> it lead, stays then there. we let it be. We let it <laughs> right. be. And Do it was one of the one of the sorry one of the things was when Sweetie Pie when we took it over and we we, we relaunched Sweetie Pie and we put it in the factory shop. It was a riot. People oh. were we were getting letters from people thanking us for relaunching Sweetie Pie. So it's a very nostalgic product. Mm. So it was very heartwarming actually at the it time. So is. I, I just wanted to ask, do you offer like chocolatier lessons or can, <laughs> can I come for a class, we, a master class? In Johannesburg we do. Okay. In Johannesburg we do. Nice. Yeah. Well, look, I, I was going to say thank you for just that, for being a part of South Africa, being a part of all the nostalgia of these mm. great memories, especially when it comes to love with the mm. people we care about, the mm. ones that we love in our family. So mm. thank you for being a part of that, for keeping the brand alive and for not just doing that, but going above mm. and beyond to bring mm. it to a new space, which I think all chocolate lovers are so excited about. And that's thanks mm. to you and your team. So, wow, this is exciting stuff indeed. I want to thank you for your time this morning and again, Mzanti, and a reminder to you as well because it doesn't stop you at this conversation. It gets even more exciting because you stand a chance to win a dream getaway as you're in this conversation to the city of love. We're talking about Paris and that's with you and your very own Sweetie Pie. And if you're wondering how, well, this is how you enter. Check this out. Get ready for the sweetest competition of the year, all thanks to Bayes. So you stand a chance to win a dream getaway to officially the city of love, Paris, baby. Oh, yes. Say no more. Now, this is how you get involved. You want to purchase any sweetie pie, keep your tool slip, and scan the QR code on your item to complete the online entry form. Now, remember, only one entry per till slip. Now, this competition closes on the 12th of February. T's and C's do apply. Good luck.